they if our chief priests have made it known that the only has the right to marry as many wives as he wants and at the same time the only has the right to divorce these wives traditionally and they would never be his wives again so my people the whole fight going on in the palace the ifa chief priest have finally spoken about it and it is indeed the ultimate solution that everybody needs on this matter because these women at some point they are beginning to arise concerns on matters like the only cannot just divorce them like that they have been married to him for quite some time now they need they need that they need that um at least at least they need that acknowledgement of being his of being his wives and the question on ground now is have you people behave like you are the only's wives that is a question that everybody is asking but the question aside the question being aside the if a chief priest have come out to say something that is indeed of great interest and anybody who has to hear it ought to hear it very well because all this why it has been like um these women are indisposable they cannot be taken out of the palace and you know all of these things combined together have been something of concern because the only himself when he wants to divorce his wife or any single thing they would make it seem like and you cannot divorce any of your wife you cannot do away with any of them and from the beginning we all knew that the only has the right to do away with any of his wives that is why when the only gets to that point of saying that um um i will cut ties with you traditionally traditionally these women begin to be scared at that point you will see them being scared but what they were making it seem like it's something like cannot happen it is impossible to happen but right now the ifa chief priest have cleared the air he has told this woman that see the only has the right to marry the whole world if he wants but you see that whole world he still has the right to divorce all of them traditionally once he cuts ties with you traditionally you are going and you are never coming back yes you are going and you are never, never coming back. So my people, right now, the matter on ground is indeed beginning to be a thing of concern. It is in, beginning to be a thing of concern because these women at this point have a sense of entitlement. They have a sense of entitlement. They have this feeling like the palace is where we belong. Since we have been married in there, we can never get to leave the palace. And that is a very, very wrong sense of entitlement. It is very, very wrong because no matter how these things progress, no matter how these things continue, they should know that even a man who is not in royalty, when he gets married to a wife, the wife has no single sense of entitlement to feel like he that she can stay, she can do this. So is it because only is in royalty that his wife now came to a drastic conclusion that they cannot be divorced, they can never leave the palace once they are married to him? Because from all the running around and fighting that the Miriam did and every single thing they did, they have come to a resolution to, you know, make it seem like the only has no right to divorce them. When the only has every single right to do whatsoever it is that he wants, he married you. He has the right to tell you that still so marriage of a thing is over. Go. We are not doing it again. That is every right the only has. My people are at this point in time, the sense of entitlement is what is killing this woman. Yes, because as it is right now that the Ifa chief priests have finally come out to say something, it is more like it is the sense of entitlement that has made these women misbehave over time. It is the same sense of entitlement that has made this woman go after Naomi because they feel whosoever they don't want in the palace the person would not stay whosoever they don't feel the person should not be in the palace the person would not exist in the palace and that sense of entitlement it is wrong it is wrong the only has every right to send someone out of the palace and bring another person into the palace he has the right he has every single right to decide who stays and who leaves the palace only has wives these women are not the only wives. And surprisingly, they are the people we keep talking about simply because what? They are the ones who choose to constitute a nuisance on a daily basis. Now, it will be surprising to everybody that 
only has wives like Pedro, Elizabeth, Ashley, Demitope, all of those people are there. But why are they not being on the forefront of these matters like these other women? Is it that them, they don't know exactly what they are up to or they are just too ignorant of the happenings in the palace? That is another question we are asking. Because as this whole matter keeps progressing day after day, it's neither you are hearing, oh, Miriam did this, oh, Ronke did this, oh, um, this person, Toby did this. These are the people that this matter keeps circulating ar around them. These are the people that this matter keeps revolving around them. So what happens to the other people? Are they too ignorant that they cannot get involved on the matters in the palace? Now people know this matter on ground right now. You know? You know, get us, we won't take reason this matter. But the best thing that has happened is this thing that the Ifa chief priest have said. Yes, this is it. That, that is it. The only has the right to marry as many wives as he wants. And at the same time, he has the right to divorce those wives. If he doesn't find it convenient, and at the same time, if he feels those wives are not being uh, useful to him. So these whole things are just... But at the end, the sense of entitlement has finally killed this woman. Yes, because a king got married to you. You came into the palace and the first thing you could do was to feel too entitled to the things that he owned. My people, know, they don't do things like this. Yes, you don't do things like this. But at the end of the day, this woman has gradually come to that point of, of doing these things and there is absolutely nothing anybody can do about it because that sense of entitlement is already there. So how do you tell an entitled person not to be entitled again? That is a question. But you see, the Ifa chief priests have come a long way with this woman. The last time, the, the last time the Ifa chief priest almost ruined Naomi's return into the palace, or he completely ruined Naomi's return into the palace, these women were in agreement with this man, so he could categorically do whatsoever it is that he wanted to do. These women were in agreement with him. Yes, they were talking with him. They had an understanding. They had a thing during that period. But right now, it is still this Ifa chief priest that is bringing out things that will, you know, conquer this woman. First, he was the one who told the Oni not to accept the custody of Toby's twins. And now, he is still the one who has come out to clear the air that the Oni has the right to marry as many wives as he can and at the same time divorce them if he doesn't find them useful. Hmm. My people, at this matter, all the Oni wants is to bring Naomi back into the palace. And it seems like these women have beaten more than they can chew because objecting the Oni bringing back Naomi into the palace was the biggest mistake they should not have even thought of making. The Oni truly loves Naomi. He wants her, so they should allow him have her.